hello everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new logo design tutorial and today i'll show you this type of creative and minimal m logo making how to make this one in illustrator so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications at first going to the file and taking new options from here i'll take 2000 pixel and 2000 pixel and artboard color mode rgb giving the name and hit the create button and after that i'll take the color swatch by pressing ctrl or command c and ctrl or command v keeping them in beside you can make this one smaller or bigger it's totally up to you and selecting this right press ungroup selecting this and taking rectangle press the shift and hold it and drawing the rectangle and now i lock it up ctrl command 2 for the lock command i just made it lock because of i don't want to move this one from the artboard i'll draw everything in this portion now going to the rectangle tool again and drawing rectangle like this giving the rectangle color any sort of color like this and then I'll make this one into the stroke mode making the stroke thickness 150 and now I'll cut it down before that I'll make this one little bit of down or smaller like that here is scissor tool select this anchor point and this anchor point the down portion will cut and delete that down portion if you get any sort of extra portion delete this okay that's good press ctrl or command a or only a from the keyboard and you can make this one round like this that's good and now i'll make copy this one by pressing alter option button and keep this one beside and now i'll make the object tool and going to the expand options and making this one expand it that's good and i don't want to make this one this no longer that means i want to make this one short going to the line segment tool taking line and now i'll cut it out by the help of here the divide options or ungroup this one this portion i'll delete now that's good and here ctrl c i'll copy this stroke and ctrl v or ctrl f that's good and I'll make this stroke thickness 1 pt and this one is our guideline now I'll change it out into different color like white that's good it will help me out to make this one proper guideline that's good ctrl c and ctrl f I'll make it bigger that's good and I'll keep it into this portion or I have to make this one little bit of bigger and little bit of bigger like that so i'll keep only this area and you can adjust with that when you are getting the guideline you are getting that that is the middle selecting all three things going to the shape builders tool and select once one two and three portion and rest of the thing press the alter option button delete those area and those area okay now time to give the color select all the stuffs press i from the color picker and giving the color like this so we got the color and changing this one by pressing g and changing this one little bit of like this so you are getting the variation Con g from the keyboard and changing up little bit so you can make this one yeah that's good and selecting this G from the keyboard and changing up a little bit and you can make this one a little bit of change if you want like this so our first step is done and now we have some roundness like this so you can make the roundness easily how to do that you have to make this one round press A from the keyboard and making this one round like this and select this 
round like this press alter option button and you can just making another copy like this so press ctrl or command y for the from the keyboard and make sure that the line is adjusted with each other you have to delete this portion so before that select all shift m shape builders tool and delete this delete this so you are getting controller command y getting back to this that's good v from the keyboard and you are getting the logo like that so our logo is almost done making this one like that so the color is coming or light is coming from here g from the keyboard making this one group and making this one middle after that text tool select once making the text size bigger like uh, 150 use font pop-ins give name making the color of the font white adding some gap between two letters like 200 that's good right press and make this one create outline making little bit smaller making the middle alignment like this and another text making this one divided by 1.6 and the gap between two letter 100 that's good and after that making this one into extra light making them into all caps and the color white and tagline selecting all the stuffs and align them to middle right press create outline at first middle and now group this one and now make the alignment with the artboard making into the middle so our logo is ready according to our gradient so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any sort of questions query request please do comment in my video comment section until the next video is signing out today stay safe stay healthy keep me in your prayers bye bye